everybody, my name is Jo and I love to read. Today I'm going to be doing a bookshelf organisation video slash maybe this pile of stuff too, that's our printer. There's a whole bunch of stuff down here as well that just kind of sits a bit messily in the room so I think it would be good to give this a clean up as well. This is our spare bedroom so if you can just... Yeah, so this is our spare bedroom that's not getting changed into the baby room it's gonna stay our spare one which is convenient for me with the bookshelves to be able to keep filming in here while we have the baby and it's kind of like a space and it's good to also have like a spare bedroom for as long as we can keep one i am a bit unhappy with how my shelves are going at the moment you can see like i've got my dead plant up there that i want to fix i hate it in every video the other thing as well that uh, well, two things actually, aside from the general junk that I'm not really happy with at the moment, is that I don't like that it looks like I have a bit of a Harry Potter shrine here. And no shade to anybody that still reads like and enjoys Harry Potter and everything like that. I still do as well, but just personally for me, because of like all the stuff that's come out about JK Rowling, I don't like it looking like a shrine too, which it very much does at the moment. I do have an original set of Harry Potters down here that I will never get rid of because they're my childhood ones and they keep all the memories for me. But I also got given a copy of these for Daniel for Christmas. I requested these years and years and years and years ago and they were um, plastic wrapped up until I finished my TBR and they were kind of like my goal for finishing my TBR. So the next time I go to reread the Harry Potter series then I'm going to use these gorgeous ones as well which maybe when I'm... well I probably will reread them before my kids are at and or oh, I say my kids oh my gosh my kid that is currently in here at the moment but I I hope I reread them before because I really enjoy them before my kid is at an age where it wants to enjoy that kind of thing with me but I may not or I may my readings really slow at the moment but yeah I just wanted to kind of because it looks very shriny because I've got like the pops up here and then I've got like all the Harry Potter trinkets and the illustrated editions so I just wanted to make it a bit less shiny and I had a really good idea about that because I'm also unhappy this is my TBR pile here the sideways books but we also still have the books that I have read here and I've just kind of shoved them to the front and I don't know how big my TBR is going to be going forward I'm not super happy with a lot of the things on it because there's a mix of books that I just kind of got given to read and maybe I'll trim some of them down as well today. I was thinking of putting these up here and kind of making this like a bit of a Harry Potter illustrated or any kind of illustrated because I've got I'm starting graphic novel collection as I read them and thinking about making this graphic novel Harry Potter illustrated slash TBR and then maybe it'll clean up this and make it look less junky maybe it'll make you feel better about the books and then also make this less of a shrine and stop hiding some of these books that are behind as well that deserve to be displayed so that's what today's video is going to be about this is my long intro for that but hopefully i will be happy with the result this is an old xbox that i want to sell it's a 360 but it hasn't been used in years and so before we sell it i want to plug it in and make sure that it works but that is something that requires work. I'm going to start with seeing how many, let me just bring this a bit closer for you guys. <clears throat> start with seeing how many I fit up here see how we go I'm gonna get rid of the one minute manager because I'm just never gonna read it I was gifted it for work off doing a managerial course but I just I'm not going to 
read it. Now I'm going to have to, this one's upside down. This is a um, another family history on Daniel's side. But see how the cover's like this? And they've put the spine sticker the wrong way up. See how it's upside down? So, just so it doesn't drag me nuts, I'm actually going to sit it upside down. Because you won't know in that regard. And I got some books for Christmas as well, which is actually, I put one away. So I got Milk and Honey by Rupi Carr, which is a book of poetry. I've seen some of Rupi's stuff on Instagram, not that I follow her, but I see it when other people have. So I thought I would enjoy that. And then I also got the first book in the series, Some Unfortunate Events, because, so I've watched the movie that came out probably in the early 2000s or something like that, not the TV show on Netflix, the movie. And I really, like, I think it's a bit kooky. I don't know whether the TV show is too kooky for me, but apparently it's more um, true to the book, so I don't know whether this is going to be too kooky. I will see. I know it's middle grade, so that'll be more of a me thing versus an it thing because I'm not the intended age reader. But I'm, I've always been intrigued with the mystery of that fire organization that their parents were in. Like, I just want to know. And whenever I re, whenever I watch the movie again, because I enjoy the movie, I really just want to know. So I put this on a Secret Santa wish list and I got given this. But then I also got given within the Secret Santa another book that I didn't ask for, but that sounds really cool historical fiction. And that's the Dictionary of Lost Words by Pip Williams. So it is fiction, but it's set in a historical um, setting where they were starting to create the Oxford English Dictionary in the early 1900s. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. Slot that one in there. Put those ones there. And I've got Midnight Sun, which I'm probably going to read next. And I'm hoping that it won't take me an age. I'm hoping that I'll get swept away again, we'll see. And that it won't be... It won't take me forever to read, because it is a really big book. I don't know why, but I'm like hating on the bone season. And I bought that for myself when I was thinking about writing again because this is something I was trying to see like what genre my writing would be in. But I haven't started writing and I'm just not in the mood for it and whenever I look at it I just feel like Wah! So I almost kind of just want to get rid of it because I just feel shit about it. I feel even worse than like and I don't know why. Like, I know it's a really good book. Like, don't think I'm hating on it. I've never read it before. But I just, whenever I look at it, I'm just so not in the bloody mood for it. Maybe I'll hide it behind Trixie Belden, actually. I'm going to do that. I'm going to... And it, I, it's got nothing to do with the cover, because I know this is the other cover that a lot of people didn't like. But I'm going to hide it behind Trixie. Um, and then I can slot this one in next to the next book in the series. I think I want to put this one here. Yes. Okay, I think I'm as happy as I'm going to be. So I've still got the bone season behind there, but it's hidden. So I've got Trixie there. Okay, good. Now do I keep the pops or not? I spent a ridiculous amount of money on pops and then I've gotten rid of some of them over the years and then I've kept Neville, Hermione and Dumbledore. But I just don't know. I really went through that phase like a lot of us did. And I just don't know. Maybe if I just keep Hermione. I am doing a lot of decluttering. Not as much as I wanted to over these couple of days because it's been busy. It's like the public holiday for New Year's Day for Australia, so it's the 3rd today of January. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but I just, I love, that looks just a million bucks. And like, there's still a lot of Harry Potter stuff, but it's kind of mixed in with everything else. It doesn't feel like as much of a shrine to me as it did. I think I'm going to end the video here because there's some other junk that I'm going to clean up, but I don't want to include that for you guys. But now I'm happy to go ahead and film some other videos and I feel a lot better about my shelves. So thank you everybody so much for joining me along in my journey of tidying up my shelf again. I know I did a video like this fairly recently, but it always feels nice to do it again and clean things up and see what they look like.
So I'll chat to you guys again next time. Bye!